Today we're doing Legend of Korra Ruins of the Empire, the comic trilogy. So this is the last comic trilogy currently available, and I guess sort of the end of the road, which is sad. But the good news is I've heard that there's talk of another comic trilogy coming, so that's something to look forward to at least. So this one starts off in an Earth Empire re-education camp. Oh, that's right. I think someone told me that this comic involves Kuvira. Victory was within our grasp. How could Kuvira turn her back on the Empire like that? On us. I mean, Kuvira did surrender and she had a nice moment of reflection, but she was beaten. It's not like she just gave up. You said you're getting better responses from the subjects? Uh-oh. I'm not sure, like, where this is going. So this guy, Guan, is not surrendering, and he has some kind of elite force that he's been building. President Moon, that's right. President Julie, doing all the things. Bolin's her assistant? He's getting closer. He's getting closer to politics. Maybe my Bolin presidential hopes are not over yet. Who knew being president would be so much work? That's funny coming from Varric, who's like the hardest working man on Earth. As you all know, a couple of months ago, I declared my intention to step down as Earth King and abolish the monarchy. Boo, long live the monarchy. Oh, it's, uh, it's Mako and Bolin's grandma, the monarch worshiper herself. I'm pleased to announce that the very first democratic election will take place two weeks from today in the state of Gaoling. How are you going to ensure the elections are fair? The timing of this. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Politics is hard, you know? It's, it's tough. Rough business. Oh no, he's singing. God, even in the comics it's annoying. I yielded to the Avatar. I gave up my empire. The people I once considered family hate me, but that isn't enough for them. Now those in power want to humiliate me. I'm sorry for the harm I caused to the people of the Earth Kingdom and the city I truly am. But this tribunal seems all too eager to list my offenses without giving any consideration to my achievements. Everything I did, I did for the greater good of the Earth Kingdom and its citizens. How do you plead? Not guilty. I think it would be easier to sympathize with her if it wasn't for the, the death camps. I think the way they handled it early in season 4 was pretty intriguing. It's like, the Earth Kingdom was a mess, and she she did do the things that she said. Like, she did modernize it, she did bring order, but like, she just crossed the line in way too many ways. She as a character is somewhat sympathetic in the sense that she has to live with this, and in the sense that like, you know, there's really no going back for her. I think her insight is correct that people are kind of out for blood with Kuvira. You know, like it's not enough for her to have been stopped. Like people are really angry and so they want to see her suffer. Not guilty, the whole world knows what you did, Kuvira. And I've apologized numerous times. When will you see through all your anger to forgive me? That's what you don't get. Being sorry isn't enough. You need to take responsibility for what you've done. Goodbye, Kuvira. So I feel like there's a lot we don't know. I'm guessing there's going to be something revealed about her past. How's the new job going? Great, I think I finally found my true calling. Politics! I think I called this all the way back in season two that he was going to go into politics. Yeah, we'll see. That's what you said about pro-bending and acting and working for Kuvira and being a cop. I can relate. I can relate. Are you suggesting I'm fickle? I know, right? How dare he? Just because you want to try new things and explore the world and find yourself in multiple professions doesn't mean you're fickle or unfocused. That's a judgment. I don't appreciate that. I think you and I should pay Kuvira a visit. I want to find out what she knows about Commander Guan. It's probably best if you go without me. I don't want to be in the same room as her. Right, because Kuvira killed her father. Oh, it's Kuvira as a kid. Let me out. It's for your own good. Okay, so she had an oppressive childhood, and also she was always a powerful earthbender. I need your help. With what? Tell me about Commander Guan. If you were in my position, how would you deal with him? I'd take someone with me who Guan respects. Someone who can reason with him and bring him into line. Gee, I wonder who she means. But if I meet with him face to face, I guarantee I could convince him to concede defeat. She's gonna take her. She's gonna take her. Before she was our enemy, Kuvira was our ally. She was the captain of Su's guard and helped us fight Zaheer and the Red Lotus. This is true, and she did save Korra's father. There at one point was something decent about her. She just lost it somewhere. Kuvira thought she had died when we were blasted into the spirit world. It was a huge wake-up call for her. When I visited her in prison, I could see that she's still broken. I think she really wants to redeem herself in the eyes of the world. I say we give her that chance. Wow. This is a very open-minded take from Korra. But it is true that Korra is the only one who saw the change in Kuvira at that moment in the spirit portal. And in some way, I wonder if Korra feels responsible for her a little bit because it was Korra who sort of brought her back from the brink, you know? I can't explain it, but I feel like in a weird way that creates a bond between them. They had that experience. Korra saw something that other people haven't seen from Kuvira. You really think this will work? I do. Then I'll support you. Wow, good for Asami. This reminds me of the search in the last Airbender comics when they <laughs> they take Azula out of prison. Similar premise. Nice to see you too, gentlemen. Tough crowd. Are those the candidates running for governor? Having free elections was supposed to bring in some new political blood, not keep the outdated Earth Kingdom bureaucracy alive. Oh, Korra. So young. So idealistic. Whoever wins, nothing is going to change. Galing will be governed the same as it's always been. How do you know? You're just basing it on how they look? That's not very nice. Look at this guy, he has very sensitive eyes. He could be a great, great leader. Ooh, but she looks a little bit more serious. I can't decide if I want to vote for Ling or Bach. 
It must be challenging for you being the Avatar's girlfriend. Kuvira has been out of jail five seconds and she's already playing mind games. I'm not playing any games. I'm genuinely impressed by the loyalty all three of you have to Korra and each other. I never had that in my life. I'm not the same person I was when I was leading the Earth Empire. I've changed. I believe that people can redeem themselves, but no one changes overnight. This is a real difficulty of reforming yourself and becoming a better person because our conceptions of each other are sticky. We tend to think of other people as static objects, unchanging. And if a lot of evidence has accumulated for a, for a certain personality trait, it takes a while for someone to shift their opinion of you. It's also really hard to prove a negative, right? Like, how does Kuvira prove she's not going to betray them? All they know at any given moment is that she hasn't betrayed them yet. Once that trust is broken, it's really hard to repair it. And that can be really frustrating for someone who actually knows they've changed. You just have to wait patiently for people to come around to that. All you can do is slowly build a resume of good action or a lack of bad action. The rest is just waiting. I don't believe it! Is that really Kuvira? I wanted to handle the situation personally, out of respect to you and to everyone who served the Earth Empire with honor. Don't talk to me about honor. You disgraced the Empire by giving up the fight in Republic City. I mean, she really didn't. I mean, she really didn't. She just got beaten. What do you want from her? She literally, like, one-handed a weapon of mass destruction. What have you done for the Earth Kingdom lately? People will be enjoying the benefits of what we did for years to come. You know, she's probably right. She probably did do some really good things for the Earth Kingdom, ultimately. I think sometimes it's easy for us to make the mistake of looking at someone and making an emotional judgment about them that makes it impossible to separate and look at their ideas and their actions individually. Like, if you really hate someone, it's really difficult to make any concession that they've done anything good at all. They'd rather paint everything in broad strokes and frame everything as a negative to have the safety of that belief that this person is just totally bad. When really it's more complicated than that. Like people are not a solid entity. They're, they're the sum of many things. So they're the sum of many actions and many deeds across many moments. And that's a very complicated thing to think about. And so I think that makes a lot of people uncomfortable. All hail the Earth Empire. All hail Commander Guan. Yeah, the shoe's on the other foot now. If you won't give up willingly, then I'll make you yield. Ah! <laughs> Kuvira, stand down! I mean, at least she's attacking them and not you. Ah! Who hit her? Oh, remote trigger. Asami came prepared. Batman. Batman. You misunderstand. I didn't come here to stop the democratic process. I came to take part in it. I don't know what you're smoking, but you're not going to beat Ling or Bach in this election. Third party candidates, am I right? Here's my paperwork. Well, that was an interesting twist. Didn't see that coming. Oh, is Bolin gonna run? I can't just go around canceling elections because I don't like one of the candidates. We need to let this play out. That makes sense, as long as he's not breaking any rules. You know, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Find a candidate to run against him. Someone who's popular enough to win. This took a turn I was not expecting. Ruins of the election. I think I know the perfect person. Is it Bolin? Is it Bol- Oh, Toph. Oh yeah, that's a great choice, but she's kind of old. And also she lives in the swamp. I don't know if Toph is a leader. That's scary. That's more scary to me than Guan. God help you if you step out of line. There's one itsy bitsy problem. Last time I saw Toph, she didn't seem too keen on getting involved with world affairs. Right. Toph is all about that swamp life now. Oh yeah, I forgot that Guan has this like experimental army or whatever. Oh no. A vote for Commander Guan is a vote for progress and prosperity. Yeah, that's what they all say. What is it with the Earth Kingdom and brainwashing people? Kuvira's going through some stuff right now. Kissy kissy. They kiss more than Aang and Katara. Asako would say, I'm getting the Ugis. So Korra and Wu, of all people, go to find Toph in the swamp. But it looks like these people are plotting to get Kuvira or something like that. I suggest you let me out of here now. Yeah, they're going to be under attack any minute. There they are. No Earth. Oh no. No problem. <laughs> Bolin's getting like extra physical with his fighting lately. Quit being stubborn. I can help you. <laughs> this is great, I like this. I forgot someone mentioned to me the top was in the comics. I'm so excited to see her again. Any excuse. I'll take any excuse for you to write her into the plot. It's fine. President, wh whatever. I don't care. You've lost your way. You're nothing but a weak king. Oh, he's going through the same, like, vision quest. Swamp vision quest. Who is it? Oh my... I was not expecting that. People don't want change. They don't care about progress. What they truly desire is stability. Stop fooling yourself. You're only pushing for democracy because you're too scared to rule on your own. I think Wu recognizing his fear is valid. But it seems authentic to me that he actually doesn't want to rule. He was never really that into it. Are you ready to return and serve the Earth Empire once again? No, Commander Guan, I won't be returning. And I serve no one. Not the Avatar, and especially not you. I respect that. It's not easy to say that from the position she's in. And it's hard to be sideless. I don't know, something about that, I like that feeling of defiance. You know, it's like, I support myself, you know? It's hard to fight being pushed and labeled by others into a side that you don't feel like you belong to. It's hard to stand for yourself and your own values, rather than, like, aligning yourself with something that already exists. I discovered the Dai Li had maintained order in Ba Sing Se 
for centuries by using enhanced indoctrination techniques. I knew there was something familiar about this, but you surrendered before I could share my wonderful breakthrough with you. If you had, I would have shut you down. I never authorized such inhumane experiments. I'm confused about what actually happened under Kuvira. It feels like they're trying to distance Kuvira from like the, the most heinous acts that happened under her rule. Are they going to brainwash Asami too? They are. They got everybody. That is not good. <laughs> Kuvira does her best to escape. I may have surrendered to the Avatar, but I'm not about to surrender to you and she bends this giant sheet of metal. Sorry about this, but you'll thank me later. That's cool. That's a very cool solution to the problem. It's weird thinking about like suddenly Kuvira is the, the lone good guy fighting against Team Avatar, the bad guys. Who's Spindle Shanks over here? Spindle Shanks. Why is Spindle Shanks such a devastating insult? I felt that. Nice. So Top does enter as a candidate for governor. I didn't harm them, I swear. Don't lie to me. Yep, she's telling the truth. It's like Long Feng all over again. Oh yeah, Toph was there for that, of course. She knows exactly what's up. <laughs> Stay here where it's safe, Spindle Shanks. Spindle Shanks. It cuts right to the bone. Oh no, that's right, you have to fight Bolin and his lava bending. Bolin, it's me, please stop. Asami, you can fight this. I can take them out, no problem. <laughs> Toph's just ready to kill. Are we gonna get to see Toph fight? That would just make my day. Hey, it's everyone's favorite Beifong twins. Wei and... Wei's brother. That's a stacked trio right there, look at that. Yeah, that's about what I'd expect. Mom, get on the airship. Kuvira, grab Asami, we're leaving. But they got King Wu. And what about Mako and Bolin? Damn, that was a tough loss. This scene's a lot of fun. It definitely raises the stakes to have the enemies be like, Mako and Bolin. Do you want us to restrain Kuvira too? No, leave her be. She's not a flight risk. Oh, that's cute. I just noticed Top taking care of Opal. That's sweet. I'm gonna need Tar Jr.'s help. Oof. I'm sure that'll go really well. There he is. Wow. This is so awkward. I feel terrible about what happened. But you remember all the pressure we were under, oh no. So when I first saw the episode where she fired at Batar Jr., my impression of it was that she didn't really care about him that much anymore, if she ever did. But the comic is implying that at some point she did, and that she actually feels really bad about it. So there you go, mystery solved for me. Slam! <laughs> Alright, I mean, who can blame him? The election will take place today. Election fraud, eh? So they're trying to unbrainwash Asami, but it's not working. What if you started with someone who hasn't been brainwashed yet? I won't be responsible for the Avatar's mind getting scrambled. Then I'll volunteer. She's like really trying hard to get these points. Please allow me to be redeemed. You get out. This is my room and my dollhouse. Fine, if I can't play with it, then neither can you. Why did you do this, Kuvira? I don't know. If you don't learn to control your violent impulses, you're going to hurt someone in this family the way you hurt your mother. Well, that was prophetic. Oh, did she hurt her mother? I, I missed that. We have to cut her some slack, honey. Your sister's been through a lot. She's not my sister. She's a stray dog nobody ever wanted, not even her real parents. Yikes. I didn't realize that Opal and Kuvira had a rivalry. That adds like a weird color to Opal being so against her. Oh, it worked. I found the guards unconscious outside her door. She escaped. Is she gonna take matters into her own hands? I'm here to propose a deal that will benefit us both. Oh wow, so Kuvira makes a deal with Guan. She joins him in exchange for brainwashing? I want to forget the Beifongs in my life in Zaofu, all those painful memories. I kind of get where she's coming from, like one of the hardest things to deal with is guilt. I really do believe that it, it's really hard to escape karma. And I don't mean karma as like a magical force, I just mean like if you're any kind of thinking human being, the ways you hurt others end up hurting yourself so much more long term. Because you have to look at yourself in the mirror and remember that you did those things. And also the past is such a brutal thing, you know, like no matter what you do going forward, no matter how much you improve, you always have the memory of the wrongdoings you've done. And that's difficult. It's really hard to cope with that. I think there is a healthy way to look at it. I think turning that into motivation to be better gives it a purpose. And also understanding that by nature, everybody is a flawed and limited person. And there's no way to know things before you know them. You know what I mean? And it's hard to be strong before you have strength. You know, it's like mistakes are inevitable. And so I think there is a way to get past the guilt. But I also understand Kuvira wanting to escape that. Most of all, I want to wipe away the memory of all those I've hurt. Yeah, that's the hardest part. The hardest part is the knowledge when you've hurt people who care about you. It's like one of the worst things you can do. Just admit it, mom. Kuvira took advantage of your goodwill and betrayed you again. We don't know that for sure. Until I learn otherwise, I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. Just like you've always done. Opal's got some stuff. Wait, is she gonna metal bend out of this? Is this a trick? Kuvira is pretty cunning. Did she just fool me? Nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. It was a trick! She got me! Damn it. Outsmarted by comic book Kuvira. Not a good feeling. Oh, she metal bends the mind control device on their head. That's so smart. This is cool. We get a Mako Bull and Kuvira fight, even though they're all good guys now, sort of. 
Ready, girls? <laughs> oh, no. Top looks so relaxed. I love it. She's just, like, cracking her knuckles over here. That's what happens when you mess with three generations of Vapongs. That's true. It is three generations of Vapongs. This is for zapping my brain. <laughs> A little bit unnecessary, but fair enough. Hope you buckled up. <laughs> I love it. You just can't drive cars around, Kubira. You never had the will to lead the Earth Empire to its full potential. I do. She just rips the car in half like it's a piece of paper. Kuvira, stop! Oh, I like how it's Suyin stopping her. It won't bring you any peace. Upon reconsideration, I have decided to alter the Earth Kingdom's path toward democracy. Each state will come up with its own timetable for elections according to the wishes of its citizens. But until that time comes, I will continue to serve as your king. Wow. And I hope to be the strong, compassionate leader you all deserve. That's great. He's come such a long way. What if he finds out he likes it? But I still hope you'll consider running for governor when Gaoling finally holds its election. Don't get your hopes up, Spindle Shanks. Ouch. Spindle Shanks. Devastating. I've had enough with political shenanigans. I prefer the swamp. At least there the predators are honest about wanting to eat you. Me and you, Toph. Me and you against the world. I just hope that by taking full responsibility for what I've done, I can begin to heal some of the pain I've caused. So I am entering a new plea. Guilty. I respect you for everything you said in there, Kavira. You really redeemed yourself. <laughs> when the comic pats itself on the back, it's going to take me a very long time to forgive you for taking my father's life. But I'm glad you were on our side this time. Asami is such a big-hearted person. Like, she really, like, she just overcomes everything. I think she could ride the Nimbus Cloud. I can't help but think that if I had been a better mentor, a better mother, I could have guided you on a more appropriate path. Notice all their expressions have changed. There were so many times over the years when you could have abandoned me, but you never did. I'm the one who is sorry I never fully appreciated what an amazing, selfless mother you are. It's all coming out. They reconcile. Whoa, this is a big move. I spoke with President Moon in the tribunal. Thanks to your show of remorse and because of your help in ending the Earth Empire and stopping Guan, they have all agreed to release you into my custody. Custody as in like a normal life or as in jail? Yes, you will be under house arrest, the same as Batar Jr. It's a pretty light sentence. Kuvira kind of got off easy there. You may not have been born a Beifong, but you'll always be part of this family. Kuvira really, really came a long way in this trilogy. Oh, that's it. Oh no. Oh wait, is it it? That is it! Damn! This comic did a lot for Kuvira's character, in a way that I think was was sort of necessary. Again, we'll never know about that, that backstory episode that got cut due to budget cuts, right? But this filled in some of that. Maybe I missed it, but I didn't really see like anything that bad. I was I was expecting like a big dramatic moment in the flashback, but really it just seemed like normal like mother-daughter stuff, sibling rivalry stuff. But I do like her path of remorse and trying to make things better and nobody believing her. I think the conflict in this comic is a little bit more interesting than Turf Wars. Guan at least is something that doesn't feel so out of left field, like he is Earth Empire, he also is like a remnant of the old way of the Earth Kingdom, right? Like the Dai Li and, and mind control and election interference, which I can't believe that came up now, but and he's not the only enemy. We also get Asami, Bolin, and Mako as enemies, which adds some stakes to it. And then Toph's there, so immediate points. She didn't do a whole lot, but I'm just happy anytime she's on screen or on page. I think this is a really nice way to end the season four arc. Overall, I really enjoyed the comic. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you very soon for the Korra discussion and Q&A.